Hello Gemini, welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. Hope you're all doing amazing. For those that are new to my channel, a very, very warm welcome. Cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well. And for those that are returning, welcome and thank you for joining me once again. Very much appreciated. All right, Gemini, this is your general love reading for this week. So let's get straight into it. Let's jump straight in. Let me clear the deck for you. And let's dive straight in. Here we go. Your general love reading for the rest of July. What can you expect? What changes are coming up? What's your heads up? Any challenges that you should be aware of? Okay. Also, Gemini, as a reminder, only take what resonates. Apply it to your unique situation. Whatever does not resonate, just toss it to the side. You definitely do not need it. And if this reading resonates with you at a deeper level, there will always be an optional extended reading. And the link to your extended reading is in the description box below. It is the first link underneath all the yellow stars, available to rent, purchase as well. You can download it to your phone, to your computer. You can do whatever you want with it. It is yours for life. And the purpose of your extended is that I will be focusing 100% from your person's perspective and only from their perspective about you, Gemini. Their wishes, their fears, their desires, their actions, their true thoughts and feelings. All right. Oh, okay. So we've got a highlighted message already. That was fast. Okay, we'll take it. There we are. Without making this really messy. <laughs> For Gemini, please. Oh, there's another one. Two more. Last one. So we've got these highlighted messages. They're also called dominant messages. They do bear a lot of weight. So these are big highlights that you can expect um, for the rest of this month. It may seep a little bit into August, but I'm focusing on July 2022. So what are the big things that you can expect? Ooh, oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Gemini, what's going on? Look at these beautiful things you can expect. We have the Four of Wands, Aries Energy, the Ace of Cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces here. For some of you, this can indicate a new love, brand new. But um, as soon as I saw the Four of Wands, I got a different message. It could be with someone that you already know. And there's a lot of blessings. There is a lot of healing um, that is happening here. This can often indicate a twin flame um, relationship here it can mean reconciliation for many of you it could also mean commitment slash marriage it's moving houses renting purchasing a new home changing jobs being promoted here being your own boss it is a card of celebration and coming together because it looks like here we have a brand new chance here a blessed new chance here this can also represent pregnancies babies children engagements marriage the return of emotional health everything that fills up your cup and it's falling in love all over again gemini so i hope this stays this way because it is looking amazing and obviously spirit wanted you to know these are the big things that you can look forward to bottom of the deck it just keeps getting better really hope it stays that way we have the star major therefore aries energy it's a card of destiny of blessings here hope faith renewal washing away any negativity and hurt you experienced in the past and we have personal wishes here. It is the wish fulfillment card, but it comes with that personal wish where you can finally put your shoulders down here, Gemini. So for those that do not want to deal here um, with anyone from the past, or you just know you're not dealing with anyone in the past, um, it's definitely saying here that it's almost like the stars are aligning here to meet someone brand new that just gets you. You're on the same page. Mm -hmm. You're coming out really strong in this reading, see? There you are. There's a Ten of Swords. And I'll get to that in a minute, though. Um, the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. So we have beautiful, loving messages coming your way. They are backed by love, fueled by emotions here. There could be children involved, the desire to have children, or maybe there's an age difference here. Or oh, It could actually be that even if your person is same age or a bit older, that, well, there could be just a little bit of emotional immaturity there. Not too bad, though, but... Um, we are seeing also if you are due for an apology, it is sincere and it's real. It is coming your way and it's there you are. We've got the lovers. Wow. So you could be dealing with a fellow Gemini as well. We have a deep soul, soul connection here where the love and the respect is mutual. Look at that. Tough times. They've ended. The tens represent the end of a cycle here. So we've got the ten of swords. That is your energy, Gemini energy. No more hitting rock bottom. Where there is an ending, we have a beginning here. A situation that really hurt you in the past. 
doesn't matter if it was 10 days ago, 10 weeks, 10 months, or even more than 10 years ago. Whatever the case is going to be for you, Gemini, that is over. No more. Let's do, this is looking amazing. So let's get to your main reading. What do we have? The Four of Swords. So this is uh, ruled by Libra and the Four of Swords are all about planning. I'm seeing also Gemini, it could be you and your person are really kind of at the moment not talking to each other yet because this is everything that's unseen. Things that you don't see happening. It's kind of brewing until it bubbles over. Um, I'm seeing here that your person is gathering their thoughts on what to say to you. Gemini, you may be feeling a little bit mentally tired i'm not getting exhausted but just you know you kind of like just in a bit of self-recovery mode it's protection it's a bit of isolation here as well resting more learning to balance things but the fours are all about planning so your person is planning quietly what to say to you how to approach you with that um page of cups we also have the high priestess that's a major there for pisces it's she and he who already knows your intuition is at an all-time high and I'm almost getting a little bit of mirroring energy. I think your person's intuition is saying, um, I don't want to wait anymore. I'm wasting time because there is a lot of love here towards you, Gemini, a lot. And I'm going to say it's mutual. Whoever you are thinking about the most now um, for this month, they are thinking about you as well. We've got knowledge, secrets, information, more conversations that do need to be revealed to you to clear the air. It's a bit of a mystery here. I think your person's being very secretive about their emotions here towards you. They're not telling anyone. We have the devil major there for a Capricorn energy. So we do have some elements of obsession, of lust here towards you. And also for those that perhaps didn't, if you know, if this didn't end well with your person in the past, there could have been some toxicity here involved, something toxic. Perhaps your person was emotionally attached to you. Maybe they were over drinking, self-medicating here. Um, and for those that maybe if there was a third party, because the only reason why I say that, because a 10 of swords can indicate separation, loss, endings, divorce, um, as well, or feeling betrayed, um, there could have been a toxic third party here, whether you are aware of it or not. Hmm. Okay, but that is the card of temptation here as well. So I'm wondering what happened in the past that was quite heavy. I think they need to address that. Yep. Yeah, and you will you will get your answers. The Ace of Swords. There you go, Gemini energy. So the Ace of Swords and the sword is pointing up. Fantastic. So you are going to have clarity now. The person here. Whoever's thinking about you quietly here at night, I'm getting a lot of night energy here. Um, they're going to be offering you a breakthrough, a mental breakthrough here. It's clarity and it's cutting away through all the illusions, all the setbacks and all the hurt here of um, what happened in the past. There could have definitely been a divorce as we see there where it says divorce certificate. Clarity. And that's starting on a clean slate and not repeating any mistakes from the past. So what is the beating heart of your reading? This card will affect all the other cards and it can also represent mutual energies. The King of Cups, very strong Scorpio energy, but this could also be a Pisces and a Cancer energy. So you're getting clarity here about someone that now is more intuitive. They are more empathetic. So if they were very cold in the past or things just ended quite brutal, um, they have now emotionally grown up from the Page of Cups. They've just jumped to the King of Cups here. Um, this is definitely a family person, definitely could have children here, but they're just more empathetic, more intuitive here. And I'm, I'm actually, because it's mutual energies here as well, I'm thinking that the, the feelings and the love is still there for one another though. Hmm, interesting. Oh, we got the emperor. They're going to be taking action. This is a major here for Aries. Yep. It's the divine masculine here. And we, we all equally have feminine and masculine here within us. Um, again, this person could be really ambitious here. There may have been some issues here with their attitude, how they see things in life, like their outlook in life. That could be over materialistic, for example, or you know, someone has to look a certain way and all this. And it was actually pretty much to their detriment because it, it's not that's not the way to live, right? Um, the emperor is all the kings wrapped up into one. So they will be taking action towards you because of their their love for you. It's it's pretty obvious here. This can also indicate perhaps your person was very stubborn, stuck in their ways here, may have may, may have had an inflated ego here, but it, like I said here, it really was kind of toxic here. And you saw it though. I think you definitely saw this. The Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy. I'm seeing here for both of you that, yeah, would not be surprised if both of you are single, ready to mingle. 
um, it could actually even show both of you are actually um, thinking of becoming self-employed or already are. That is the minor arcana of the Empress. It is very abundant here, where both of you are single, independent, resourceful, not lonely. Both of you are go-getters and very ambitious, you know, really focusing on your career, your studies, your finances. Um, but I think here yeah, your person is kind of obsessed with the fact that you're single and anyone can snatch you up though. So that's why we're seeing some action here. I feel like it's been a long time coming though. And if they don't hurry up, because I feel like your outlook has changed here. Um, in other words, on how you, I don't know, perceive them. Let's talk about the near future. What's going to happen? We've got justice major there for uh, Libra energy. For, so, for those that um, were married, yeah, you could definitely go back to couples counseling. This can indicate if your person was in a third party, um, that can indicate that there already is a divorce or the separation is really underway here, but it's not really 100% affecting their finances yet. And I will be clarifying these cards as well. This comes also with an apology where things are fair, the scales are balanced, and this person does wish to make up for lost time, lost love. Hopefully, you know, earning your love, trust and respect back though. I will say here that your person here, their intuition, I don't, maybe they don't really understand what intuition is, but they are feeling that pull here to reconcile towards you. They don't probably really understand that, but they feel a calling to reach out to you. Absolutely. Um, and what I love is that the justice card always says that the truth will be revealed. Nothing is going to be hidden. Nothing's going to be a mystery. Um, like, for example, the high priestess here. What else do we have? We've got the five of cups, Scorpio energy. We see someone here mourning, not at a bar, but at a coffin. So it's metaphorically here. I feel like this is more both of your energies, more your energy though, Gemini, about just regret about how things unfolded, how things ended, how your person, perhaps what they said to you, how they conducted themselves, which I was feeling was quite cold um, as well, like very apathetic. It's like, where are your emotions here? I have a feeling here, Gemini, is that your heart may be saying yes and leaping for joy. Your mind, though, I feel here, and it's more unfortunate but for them, is questioning this. Because I feel here that the hurt, it's still, it doesn't matter how much time has passed, um, Gemini, I feel like it's still lingering. It's like you're still carrying a little bit, and this is your last memory of them, even in the outcome. So let me clarify these cards, because I don't see you saying a solid yes but I don't see you saying a solid no as well. Oops, leave those there. Don't have much room here. Let's see. Yeah, I just got the word careless, carelessness. Is that a word? Yeah, careless. Very carelessness, careless um, with your heart, with this entire, yeah, see, these are four of swords. They're definitely gathering their thoughts. Mm. You're, I mean, I do. I definitely see your person here wallowing here in self-pity. They definitely could be over drinking as well. Um, I don't really see them being balanced here emotionally as well. There's something with their emotions. Mm. All right, here we go. Two more. Last one. And here we go. All right, so bottom of the deck, what do we have? We have you again. There we go, the King of Swords, very strong Gemini, Libra could be possibly also very strong Aquarius energy. There is a lot here that you wanna to say to this person as well, but you wanna be objective about this. See how your sword is pointing up. So that means you are open to hearing them out and you know to discuss what happened, but I don't see you trying to invest emotionally in this just yet. And I think that's smart, Gemini. I think you're being quite logical, rational about this. Yeah, we've got the Page of Pentacles. There's going to be some form of face-to-face -face communication coming your way. Capricorn energy. Mm -hmm. I see here they're going to offer you something solid. So it's going to be small, but this definitely could be a conversation here. Um, at least let's meet in the middle. Let's talk. The Six of Pentacles. Taurus energy. So there definitely could have been here something about a separation, something about a divorce where, you know, we've got a judge here equally um, distributing money fairly, hopefully fairly, um, like spousal support, child support here. Sixes are all about healing. It could, and that's a little bit imbalanced, as you can see. She's supposed to represent the scales, a little bit imbalanced. Maybe a person towards the end was giving too much attention to someone else. Or something else here um, they may have had options here yeah they may have made you feel like an option and it left you feeling very emotionally confused that Scorpio energy but no more there they are they're thinking 
Ooh, I want to go back to Gemini. There's the Ace of Cups again. You've got the Ace of Swords. Wow. So you've got the same Aces coming out and you've got the Four of Swords coming out, followed by the Strength card, Leo Energy, Unconditional Love here. Wow. Okay. They want a brand new start. In fact, if your person has options in their life right now, no, I'm seeing it's like, no, leave me alone. It's almost like if you can see this person's face, it's like, just leave me alone. Please, I don't want to talk to anyone. I, I don't want to. I just want Gemini. Wow. Okay. Whew. <laughs> there's a lot going on behind the scenes here, Gemini, that you don't know about. Um, and there's a lot. The High Priestess says there's still a lot to uncover that you don't know about yet. So let's clarify the Four of Swords. The Two of Cups, Strong Cancer Energy. Wow. you got the two cards of true love here. The Two of Cups and the Ace of Cups. We have two beautiful souls here. Two souls merging together as one. A deep soulmate connection. Um, they're definitely not giving up on you. I see that there is a part of you, even if it's tiny, you're still not giving up on them as well. You're being a lot more rational about this, more logical, of course. And I think that's smart. There you are. You're sitting in your position of power. You're defending your position. And I see you're very busy with your career, your finances or study. Um, nothing's going to stop you. But your heart is saying, well, what if? What if? You're definitely mirroring each other. The Two of Cups shows that, you know, if you was not on the same page, now you are. You are both on the same page. Let's talk about the High Priestess. What you don't see coming your way is a lot of messages. Eight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. This is the second fastest energy in the entire deck. The first one being the Chariot ruled by Cancer. So we've got messages incoming, love messages, Cupid's arrow, whatever you want to call it. We've got a lot of messages. And I do see that you will be responding yeah, because it's incoming, outgoing, incoming, outgoing messages. So that is a sudden flurry of activity, lots of rapid movement. And it's like, oh, my God, can I keep up? Um, yes, you can, Gemini. Let's talk about that devil. King of Pentacles. Mm, I did pick up that there was a third party. We've got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Very strong Taurus here. It seems that your person, whether you knew it or not. So this is where the, the high priestess says there is still a lot that your person needs to reveal to you that you didn't know about. It seems that your person was committed or married to someone else. Perhaps they were defending someone else or, you know, they were they had someone else's back here that was quite toxic. Whatever was happening in your person's life during the time that you were together it was very heavy, very toxic. Um, no, don't like that energy at all. They're still going to reveal a lot to you because, like I said, the High Priestess is a mystery card. It's about secrets, but they're going to tell you everything about this. So let's talk about the Ace of Swords is the Eight of Swords. That's your energy, Gemini energy. You're definitely holding back. You're not chasing this person. And I think that's good, Gemini, because you have dignity. You don't chase. People chase you. <laughs> all right. Um, I actually see even when your person is going to be giving you all this clarification that you are still going to be holding back. Not surprised because you are coming out here as a five of cups, still mourning, still hurt, still actually digesting everything that your person is going to tell you. Now, I do appreciate, though, Jim and I, that they are going to be telling you the truth, but I think you need time to chew on it, to digest what they have said, because now you're gathering your thoughts. See? I don't see you being impulsive. I don't see you rushing back to this person, just chewing on it. In fact, you may be wondering here, can this actually even be saved? Is it worth it? Do I really want to entertain this conversation, open up this door all over again? Hmm. I think you're nervous to do that. I would be too, I'm not gonna lie. The King of Cups here is clarified by the Nine of Cups, Pisces energy. There's a lot of cups here. The more cups I see, the more emotions, the more love, affection. That Oops, just knocked the camera there. There is towards you. So your person's clearly going to say it in one way or another along the lines that you are their wish fulfillment. It's about emotional contentment. And this is another wish card. Of course, you got the star. You got the nine of cups here. Um, the nine of cups for many of you can actually show an impending pregnancy without, within nine months as well. Should you want that? It's definitely going to happen. That's just a side note <laughs> if you can relate to that. But clearly, I think your person's going to say, listen, I really want to work at this with you. Please just give me give me a chance. Let's just talk. Mm, I see you Yeah, just really thinking about this. Let's talk about this emperor. They're going to be taking action. There's that four of wands again strong Aries energy. So they're taking action to reconcile with you. This is very straight to the point reading um, at Gemini. They want reconciliation. They consider you their better half. So we've got very strong soulmate twin flame energy here. You know, and you'll know if this is like a twin flame energy. Sometimes it's the runner and the chaser. If you at one point were chasing them, they were, pff, they disappeared. Now they're chasing you. It's like, you feel like saying to your person, can you just pick? <laughs> do you want to be with me or not? And they do. Very clearly they do. Let's talk about that nine of pentacles. I'm really loving your energy, what you're doing. 
You, yeah, you're mirroring each other. You are each other's wish fulfillment. Aquarius energy here. You see, I think that you are more than capable here of being single and independent. You're only going to take this person back if they actually prove to you that they're prepared to change this, to heal this, to win you back. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, Gemini. You're not making this person suffer. You're making them prove to you that they're going to commit to you, which they're actually going to do. We've got a lot of wishes being granted here, but of the emotional kind. Let's talk about the justice card. There you are. The magician ruled by your energy, Gemini, and also Virgo. This is about beginnings, manifestations, creating something again from nothing by coming together. Wow, this person's manifesting you. And Gemini, you are the master. If there is anyone that can manifest something, Gemini, it is you. You are the master manifester here. Um, so I do realize this is really up to you. But yet, there's conflicting energy here in the, um, in the outcome. It's like you're still disappointed. I think there's a part of you that can't let go. How they made you feel at the end. Let's talk about it. See, the five of pentacles, no wonder. Taurus energy, this person abandoned you. That's how you feel. You feel unloved unworthy which is not true but that's how they made you feel unloved outside looking in tossed to the side these fives also do talk about regret wow they did a number on this gemini they did really did look what they <laughs> oh my god the tower scorpio energy perhaps the outcome's not looking good for them though because i still feel that you've gotten all the clarity that you need but you're still hanging on to that I'm honestly, I would have a hard time letting go as well. I mean, look what they did. You actually, some of you may be tempted to say no. Yeah, see the Pisces energy with the hanged man. You're still holding back. You're still uncertain. Let me get a card from the modern lover's tarot. One more, please, about the outcome. So it'd be very interesting to see how this uh, develop, uh, well, develops in your extended. Whoa, all right. Too much. One more, please, for the outcome for Gemini, please. One more. Okay, the cards have gone really quiet now. One more, please. Whoa, there we are. Thank you. <laughs> I kind of know when it's time because I explode out of my hands. There's a strength card. Wondering, do you have the strength to overcome this? You've got the Five of Swords. Aquarius energy. I don't think you're seeing them in the best of light. The nine, Knight of Cups, you're waiting for an apology. Ten of Cups, look happily ever after. It's almost like you're questioning, this is way too good to be true. That's what it feels like. It's like, what's the catch? This is too good to be true. Yeah, like the ending, it's almost like you're waiting for a disaster to happen with this person. This is going to be, I honestly, I can't wait to see in your extended because in your extended, we're going to even go deeper into this, especially in the outcome, according to your person, because this is all from your perspective. I want to see what's going to happen in your extended from your person's perspective, because I am seeing a lot of emotional and mental fear here on your part. And I don't blame you, Jim, and I would feeling exactly the same if this person make, made us feel unloved, abandoned. They gave us the tower. It's like, well, what else can I expect from you? The damage has been done. Um, so this is what we're going to do because this is far from over. I can tell you right now, whether you want to be with them or not, they are coming back. And this is the energy I'm going to be focusing on in your extended reading. These messages out of the blue. You're not going to expect it, Jim, and I. July... And a little bit of August, mainly July is going to be a very interesting month here of what to do, how to respond. If anything, they're coming in. Listen, they are coming in genuine. There's a lot of emotions. I do see you holding back a lot, though. So let's see in your extended. As a reminder, it is in the description box below. It is a first link underneath all the yellow stars available to rent or purchase. I will see you there. I wish you the very best, Gemini. And you know what? One foot in front of the other. I'm sending you a very, very big tight hug for you, Gemini. See you soon. Bye.